gets very soupy. <laughs> Way more liquidy than it's supposed to be. Did I? Ruh -roh. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, crap. Hello everyone, Jeffrey. This is one half, one major piece of my countertop. And today I am putting the first couple layers of concrete on this countertop. Lightweight concrete. What? What are you talking about, Jeffrey? Lightweight concrete, you're putting it on your countertop? What? I'm gonna tell you. But first, I have to sand this, and I'm sanding it out here because it's, I think, too cold to concrete outside. So I'm taking this into my sister's basement, but I'm trying to keep things as tidy as possible <laughs> for her. So I'm going to sand this out here. I have to sand it really, really, really well uh, because uh, the concrete, the lightweight concrete that I'm using, the Ardex featherweight concrete that I'm using, really needs a rough surface to adhere to. So I'm gonna rough this up and take it inside. Okay, the first thing I did was take this razor blade scraper thing, and especially on these sides, because it's just two by fours, I really roughed them up and scored them. And I'm really getting close to my face with that razor blade. Uh, I just put like big scores into the wood. Um, we really want that concrete to have something to grab a hold of. So I'm also gonna sand it now and the top, but I wanted to start with that. Let's do it. I guess you guys can probably see it, but I just realized that I have a sanding face. It looks like this. <laughs> That's awkward. Okay, I really sanded the dickens out of this. Um, yeah, I think... I don't know, I think... I think it's rough enough. The top definitely is, because it's OSB. I don't even know what that means. It's like a composite wood. Um, so it has lots of texture. I sanded it anyway. But yeah, I think this, uh, I think these sides should be good too. Um, we're gonna find out. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to wipe it off um, and uh, get it inside, which is gonna be a trick. Okay guys, I'm at Lowe's. <laughs> I had to grab some last minute, uh, a last minute thing. I needed this, a rasp. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. People are staring at me. Okay guys, so I was at Lowe's because I was buying a rasp. One of these bad boys. I stopped filming because people were staring at me. <laughs> Apparently not everybody in Lowe's has a silly YouTube channel that they're making uh, videos for. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, uh, my countertop, the edges, you know, those two by fours, I, I scored them, I sanded them, but they just don't feel rough enough and I do not want to take my chances at this concrete, this lightweight concrete, not adhering well to it. So I got this rasp, it's gonna rough it up real good, I think. Um, so let's go home, let's rough it up. We're going to get started on this concrete. I hope to get um, at least one or two layers on and then it's gonna need more layers. So uh, I also need to get my second uh, countertop piece construction, construction, <laughs> constructed. Um, and then I also have to do the concrete on this. So y'all are gonna have to bear with me. Um, this is gonna be a multi-parter again. <laughs> Hopefully not as epic as the wood stove adventure, but um, this is definitely we're definitely going to be a few videos deep on these uh, these concrete countertops because I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea how it's going to go. I think I do, but I usually think I do and then don't. <laughs> so um, let's go home. There are baby pigs. Let's go see some baby pigs. Baby pigs were born last night. I haven't been out to see them yet. I'm sure all of you want to see them. <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, let's go home. Let's see pigs and make countertops for buses. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my sister's basement. <laughs> uh, 
As promised, I have this rasp, it's called. It's like a file, basically. One side's way more rough than the other side. Um, but I'm gonna use that on these sides because they're two by fours and they just, well, I can't feel it through the glove, <laughs> but they're not, um, they're not uh, rough enough. I don't, well, I don't know. They're not rough um, and I don't wanna take my chances. So let's rough them up. That took some elbow grease. <laughs> um, okay, <coughs> sorry, that was intense. Uh, so, if you don't know why I'm roughing this up, it's because, well, it's the same thing as like when you paint on like super smooth metal. Um, paint, concrete, needs a surface, a rough-ish surface, so it has places to attach itself and grab on. Um, so that's why I had to rough this up. And now it is time for the concrete. Ladies and gentlemen, I present <coughs> Ardex Feather Finish uh, Lightweight Concrete. Um, I'm going to read the instructions. I'm going to go out inside and mix it. I pr I'm going to go ahead and... I might be able to mix it in here. I don't know. I'm sure my sister's not excited about me dealing with concrete in her basement. <laughs> but I think it'll be fine, actually. So let's... Mix this up. I need to read all the instructions again first. I've read them before, but let's read them again. And then we're ready to rumble. Okay, so the ratio is pretty straightforward. It is um, two parts. Uh, no, wait. <laughs> I think I already messed it up. I just don't want to tell you incorrectly. It is two parts powder to one part water. So all I can find is three-quarter cup. So, um, uh, to start I'm going to mix up uh, four of these. So that would be uh, three cups. Um, so first I'm going to do the water. So if I'm mixing up four of these, so I need eight things of water. I'll be right back. Okay, the directions were very explicit. Uh, my water is in here. The direction said to put the water in first and then mix the concrete into the water. So, I, just to be clear, I said I had to do eight waters, eight of these of water, but this is a three-quarter cup measuring cup, so that is six cups of water. So, <clears throat> four of these. I don't know how exact this has to be. No clue. I'm gonna guess, I don't know. I'm gonna guess not super exact. We're not baking, are we? <laughs> Just mixing some concrete. <clears throat> so I might have to mix some more. You know, I don't know how much, I think this is going to be enough, but I, I don't know, I'm a noob. So, um, Come watch this while I mix it. I'm interested to see how it mixes. So I just have a paint stick. It's very soupy. <laughs> Way more liquidy than it's supposed to be. Did I? Ruh -ruh. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> you guys, it's two parts powder to one part water. I did the opposite. I have to put... Uh, 
Oh no, I have to put so many more of these in there. <laughs> oh no, you guys. Um, okay. <clears throat> Two to one. So I put eight. Oh my gosh, this is going to be too much concrete. Ugh, dag nabbit, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to mix up that much concrete because I can't use it. <sighs> Alright, guys. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go dump this out so that I can start over because if I add so I added um, six cups of water to this bucket and if I add 12 it's I don't need that much concrete for just this first layer so I gotta go chuck it man okay guys I will not make that mistake again <laughs> so let's do this all over again man Hey guys, it's mixed. It's time. I'm so nervous. <laughs> but let's get some on here and see what happens. We've got this, I don't know what you call this. It's sort of, I don't know what it is. One of these things. <laughs> um, it feels thick, so I might have to put some water in it. I don't know. We're going to find out. So I'm just pulling some out. Okay. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I'm already really into this. Okay, so from my research, this first layer needs to be super, super thin. Like we should be able to see through it everywhere. We're just trying to get a first base layer on here <clears throat> uh, that's going to give us a really great surface for the next layer to really latch on to. Uh, I'm going to start with the top and then we're going to do the bottom. I already got some on the floor, so I'm going to take my shoes off. I don't know if I'm in uh, <laughs> concrete uh, clothes <laughs> or not, but I think it'll be okay. The big thing is I think we just want it smooth and we want to get this first layer on. So I won't make you listen to me talk the whole time. So let's do this and I'll see you in a few. Gosh, you guys this stuff is so cool like take a look at this it is awesome so this is still wet here obviously but you can see over here where it's more thin it's starting to dry um, ah, I feel so good about it so excited and it actually took so you know when you do this on a smoother surface than this OSB it actually, um, it goes on even way thinner than this, but because of the texture, it already went on really thick. There's actually a lot of places where you can't s even see the wood underneath, and I don't think that's typical from my research. So let's go check out the pigs, let it dry a little bit, and come back. Mm. Okay, guys, we've got baby pigs. <laughs> um, six of them didn't make it last night. It's very cold here right now, and they're in a heated building, but six didn't make it. But, uh, a bunch of others did. So let's go see them. Oh, it's gonna smell so bad in here. My dad used to say, when the pig, when the pig poop smell was really bad, and I complained about it, my dad would always say, smells like money. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. Oh, the stench. Oh, I wish you could smell it. I don't. I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. Hey, pigs. What's up, pigs and babies? Oh, hey, mama. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
They are so cute. This was my favorite thing when I was a little kid. Uh, when the winter batch of, of pigs were born, it would always be cold and they were fine, but sometimes a couple pigs wouldn't be fine. Um, and they would have to come inside to warm up and we'd always put them in a cardboard box with some blankets and a heat lamp. And I got to play with them all night. <laughs> oh, these guys are sleeping. They can't be bothered by our YouTube. Both these mamas are sleeping. Look, they're out. <laughs> like a light. They worked hard. They deserve a nap. Oh man. All right, guys. Uh, what fun we've had today. <laughs> let's go check on this concrete and I think I'm gonna call it a day. Guys, let's go check out this concrete countertop. <gasps> yes. Oh man. Wow, that is crazy! So it's not quite, I mean most of it's dry. It needs to dry more though, for sure. So one piece, I forgot, I need to put two by four in this because I don't want this, uh, the, um, the trash hole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the trash hole to be shallow. I want it to be the same with those is so I have to put two by fours in there just it, it'll be easy I forgot I'm gonna do it tomorrow um, so we'll do that um, but this is an awesome first step so guys this is how like day one of this lightweight concrete goes we'll talk about day two tomorrow well this the video won't be posted tomorrow <laughs> it won't be done but I'm gonna do it tomorrow and in a couple days <laughs> the video will be up but this is so exciting. I am so excited about this stuff. I just want to use it everywhere. I just want to cover Earl in it. <laughs> okay, not really. <clears throat> um, guys, don't forget, uh, live uh, December 30th, right? Yeah, December 30th, 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern, join us. Shanna and I are going, we're just going to have a gay old time. It's going to be so much fun, I hope. Um, all kinds of fun things are happening. I'm giving away uh, copies, like physical CDs of my comedy album. We're going to play some silly games. We're going to get some sneak peeks into some stuff. Y'all are going to get to ask whatever you want to ask of me. Um, we're going to talk about Patreon. I'm launching a Patreon page. Um, so yeah, don't miss it okay don't do it you gotta be there if you're not there you can watch it the next day it'll be on it'll be on my channel <laughs> but be there that night it's more fun don't you think there's something else I had to tell you guys and I don't know what it was I don't know I don't know what it was but I will um, put the link to this Ardex feather finish um, stuff in the you know description box um it's a little tricky to find but i actually found it on amazon they didn't have it when i first looked but they do now hopefully they still have it if they don't have it I'll, wherever it is i'll put the link i'll find it you can find it there's a couple other companies that make it um i was recommended this brand but i bet there's not a big difference oh hi i couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more youtube videos well you can subscribe here you won't miss a thing or watch my film once is enough right here or just click here watch another video